couple years ago, I created a children's YouTube channel for the sole purpose of teaching my little ones in a fun and engaging way through video. Elephant Nuggets! <laughs> Most of that content was created with Canva, which is a great animation tool. So that's all I'll be doing today. One of the video topics I did in the past was about learning the alphabet from A to Z. So one of the things in Canva is having an automation tool to help create that video, which is what I'll show you how to do today. So let's get right into it. Here we are in Canva. So I do have the pro version. And what I'm gonna do to start this is to hit this video button right here. It's gonna open that up and I'm gonna do video landscape. First, give it a nice file name here. All right, so after the file name, what I wanna do is first give it a nice background. So I'm gonna to go to elements, just do cartoon park, which is preloaded right here. Great. And then I'm gonna use a graphic here. Use something really simple. I'm gonna choose this one right here. And with this image, I'm just gonna right click, set image as background. Perfect, that's what I want right here. And then what I want to do from here is add two text boxes to start the automation process. So hit text, add a text box. It's going to default to this one here, which I do like this text here, Canvas Sans, which is really nice. I'm just going to do the letter A and just open it up nice and big here. So that's the letter. And then another, add another text box right here. And this is a tiny little thing. I'm just going to adjust it. I resized it. I'm going to position it over down here. Move this one down here as well. So those are the two uh, texts that we're going to have here. And how am I going get, to get this to reiterate on the letter is on this the automation process I'm going to do right now. But first, I'm going to actually go to ChatGPT to help me out. So I put in this prompt right here, provide a list from A to Z. For each letter, provide a fun object in Excel table format. So I'm going to hit that. All right, so I got a nice list here. What I'm gonna do is copy this and then open Excel. Here's Excel, so I'm just gonna hit Control V to paste it. Uh, make sure these words are nice and clean, so I'm gonna do that right now. So I cleaned up my list here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it as a CSV file. So I saved right here as alphabet list. Would we'll make sure this go to a CSV file, which is right here, and then hit save. So back in Canva here, I have these two uh, text boxes right here, one with the letter and one with the word. Uh, the duration here is five seconds, so I'm gonna cut that down maybe to four seconds. That's good for me right there. And now what I'm gonna do is down here, where it says bulk create, kind of hit it and down at the bottom. I'm gonna hit that right here. And then I'm gonna upload data, and this is gonna help feed the letters and words into this video here. So I'm gonna hit upload data. I'm gonna go to my list here, which this is the file here. I'm gonna hit open. And right here, it's gonna see the two different fields, the letter, which is this one, and then the fun object, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna hit first on the letter, right click, and then connect data, go letter. And over here for word, I'm gonna right click and hit connect data, hit fun object, and we are good to go. And then here, you hit continue. It's gonna do all these right here, which is great. You can see all, how everything is linked. This is the cool part. And let's just hit generate all these designs. So within a few seconds, it's able to create all these different uh, pages here, A through Z. Uh, so you don't want to take this as is, you just want to make sure and look at look, everything looks good here. So let's start with the letter A, let's work our way through here. So you kind of see something like this. You want it to be on the same line, just kind of re-edit it, no big deal. So I'm going to do that uh, for all these letters here and then take it to the next step. All right, so I went through each page here, repositioned the letters and, the, and also the words here. What I wanna do is also make it visual as well. So each one of these pages, I'm gonna add a picture to it of this word here, of each word. And so I'm gonna do that right now. And how I'm gonna do that, I'll show you A, for example, let's go to elements and then hit type in airplane. I'll go into graphics and just choose one of these uh, images here and then just go right down for, through each page here. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I got the pictures loaded to each one of these pages here for each letter. Uh, the next cool thing I want to do is add a transition between each one of these here. So I'm going to do that right now. So right between like you go to a page that says add transition, click that, this one right here. Maybe I'll do flow. And then what I could do here is apply to all pages. So this is what it's going to look like. 
really cool. Yeah, so that's how you do it uh, as far as getting the letters and pictures in there. So to make it look more polished up, I'm gonna put a title page on into here. So I'm gonna hit on letter A, right click, and then just put add page. Let's swing this over, there we go. Go hit park, background. All right, in the title page, I'm gonna go use this one here, and then I'm at a text here. So I created two text boxes here. What I'm gonna do is just position it to make sure it's all centered. Centered, great. I'm gonna animate this top one here. Let's find a good one. Let's do shift, then alphabet. Let's do bounce. So I like that duration. What I'm gonna do here is kind of trim it down. I'm um, gonna do the old fashioned way, just drag and drop it till it gets to the, go over here and put it at three and a half seconds. So let's see what it looks like. Perfect. So um, let's add some voice to that. What I'm gonna do is go down to audio right here click on audio, add an AI voice. And so I'm gonna put a type in the text. So let's do this, let's learn the alphabet. And then let's choose one of these voices here. So I like this voice here. This is Lisa, so I'm gonna select let's this. Let's learn the alphabet. And hit generate. And it's gonna put it right here. So that's nice the position that I want there. And let's see if I can reposition it here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my original Excel file here, my CSV file. I'm gonna hit this and I'm gonna put this into here. All right, so what I did here, I copy and pasted the letters and the words of the whole alphabet here. And so what I also did was added a period after each letter and then an exclamation point after each word here. Hopefully that breaks it up, uh, gives some good breaks here. Um, and so what I'm gonna do from here is hit generate AI voice. I'm still gonna use Lisa here. Hey. Airplane. Yeah, a little bit more cleaner here. Let's move this and then I'm gonna have to uh, kind of edit through each one of these or kind of cut it up and split it up and make sure everything is timed well. So let me do that right now. All right, so I got everything cut up there. It wasn't actually too bad. It only took probably like less than five minutes to do. Uh, just had, for one big file there, just I hit the letter S. So I will, you know, select in the file, hit the letter S to split the file and then just moved it and dragged it across so everything's lined up. And so it comes out to like a, a, the video like this right now. C, coloring book. Now what I wanna do is also add some music as a background. So I'm gonna look for music right now. So I'm gonna go over to audio. So I've typed in children's music and I found this song right here called Lollipop Land. And let me give you a little sample. All right, so I like this music here. I'm gonna actually take this and just drag it down here. All right, so I laid the music track down. What I want to do is, when you play this right now as is, this is how it's going to sound. Me, bubble. The music is going to drown out the voice, so what I'm going to do is uh, click on the music track, right click, hit volume, and it's 100 now. I'm going to probably just see if I do like 45, see what, I, what happens here. Hey, airplane. So let me adjust it down even more, maybe down 18. B, bubbles. So I do like 18, it was a nice sound there. And then this is pretty much it here. What I'm gonna do towards the bottom. Oh great, everything is split and it's all ready to go. But yeah, what I'm gonna do to import it is go hit share, download, and then it's gonna be MP4. And then what I'm gonna do is make sure that um, all the pages are selected here. So all pages hit done and it's gonna download. And here's the final product. Let's learn the alphabet. A, airplane. B. Bubbles. C. Coloring book. D. Dinosaur. So hopefully you liked the sample of that video there. I'm going to link the full video down below in the description. But yeah, that's the process to create a video, one of these automated type videos in Canva. Really cool, really simple to do. Just got to follow the steps. Um, really effective for helping your little ones, if whether you're a parent or a guardian, or even a teacher, to put a video like this together. So hopefully you like this one. Thank you for sticking to the end here. I'm gonna link some more Canva videos at the end screen and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.